Happy Saturday, folks. I'm coming today really quickly to share with you a few little mini albums that I made with that Laurie Whitlock die cut that I'd shown previous. I am kind of just trying to use my stash and get back into the paper crafting. I love shabby chic, don't get me wrong, but it realistically isn't something that I love to do as much as paper crafting. Paper crafting is my number one. And mini albums are my favorite. Then cards, then shabby chic. <laughs> um, so I'd shown you the kitty album, and I went ahead and picked up the puppy love and the chipboard pieces, or the odds and ends, as Doodlebug would call it. I picked up both of these, and I wanted to create my brother and my stepmom a mini album for their puppies. Um, but after going through it, I realized it was mostly manly related. Um, for the dog. So I am not going to be able to make a girly one for my stepmom. However, I will be on the lookout for really cute pocket, you know, um, purse puppy paper for a little puppy girl. So if anybody knows of a line that is of that nature, she kind of looks like a chihuahua. She's a chihuahua something papillon mix. Um, so I really want to make her an album, but not with this paper because it is primary colors and so on and so forth. Now keep in mind, the album I'm going to show you, I do not have pictures in it yet, but just pretend that there is. <laughs> uh, right here will be a picture of Coco, which is my brother's dog. And I love this little cut apart here. Um, let me just push this camera down a little bit. I love this little cut apart out of the or out of the chipboard section. So it says, hello, my name is. I thought that was super cute. And then it says, I love my dog and man's best friend. So I will put a picture of Coco there. Um, and then this one, of course, I kept all of these loose so I could double side them because I haven't pulled the pictures yet off of Facebook or anything yet and I will and I just left her op or left the doggy open and it says so doggone cute and I used almost the whole because this one's for my brother and not just an itty bitty mini I kind of used almost the whole six by six paper pad um, but I still have quite a bit left so I could make an extra little mini mini for another boy doggy these were also in the chipboard pieces and of course I created little tags this one says um, best friends and I like these little I like these little um, bags from recollections at Michael's so just put a sticker there I left this popped up so he could slide a photo or I could slide a photo into it use some more of the chipboard pieces I love this fire hydrant and I love I love the scrabble board me and you pause puppy walk dog loyal how cute is that right and on each of the three pages, there is a pull out um, mat. Oh, I pulled out both on accident. Um, with uh, paw pads that are the pull out pieces. I won't put them back in because it'll take a little harder time. But um, then, of course, this, the, the tennis balls, left the photo mat blank, made a little tag. I did not put twine on these tags just because it's my brother. Um, since it's so happy together, I rough you. Again, this one says um, we belong together, and it says having a ball with just another photo mat and again another pull out and I use the double pause for the pull out pieces and then over here I just thought this was super cute I wanted to put a bone and I loved the daily news and left the journaling this was actually one of the cut aparts so or the chipboard pieces sorry I keep calling them cut aparts um, and of course just created it into a pocket for a photo mat and then another tag that says good times and then here says best friends, and this is also removable, so he can I can just slide a photo right in there and position it how I want. Another photo pull out. And then this right here again with the scrabble board. I really liked it. Um, it says I love my dog, man's best friend from the cut aparts. These were the scrabble tiles from the chipboard pieces. It said good dog. I just put them on there for the mat. I thought that was super cute. With the plot tag, another woof. Just because that is just so darling. I love the woof. <laughs> And this one says, love at first sight. Um, and then over here, I did do the, um, I did pop this up so I can just slide a photo in there too, but I used the doggy bed, a ball, a bone, and the dog on the bed for another pullout. So this is for my, my little brother and his sweet dog, Coco, and I cannot wait to pull the pictures and put those in there. And I'm kind of lucky he doesn't watch my YouTube. So <laughs> again, it's from Doodlebug, uh, Puppy Love, and the Lori Whitlock die. And then I got to thinking, oh my gosh, you know, I had bought all these from Tuesday mornings and I'm really trying to use my stash and these were those 99 cent kits. Sorry for the glare, folks. That's really bright. These are those Mombi 99 cent kits and you get the chipboard or the soft spoken chipboard pieces and then the sticker pieces and then you get six sheets of eight by eight paper. And I thought, you know, 
I also picked up, I, I had plans on making like best friend cards with these and I picked up a birthday set and I picked up, um, a, a breast cancer awareness set and quite a few sets, uh, boys, all about the boy, those kinds of sets for 99 cents. And when I got my hands on this Lori Whitlock die, I thought, oh my gosh, I can just make little itty bitty minis. And one of these I used on an entire mini album. So let me show you what I created. I created two. They are both same, but different. One is a little bit more on the girly or younger side and one's a little bit more on the older girl side. So of course I did this. I used some washi that I was gifted during my challenge and black and white ribbon. And I used the, these were some of the stickers. So the only thing I added was the ribbon, this little bit of washi and these rhinestones that I had gotten from, I think Dollar Tree even, um, created again, just little mats. This one says fabulous. And then there's a tag that says best shopper. That was one of the stickers. This one says best laugh. And then another photo mat. And this says, you always make me laugh. And so I just thought that was super cute. Did not make these into pocket pages or anything. Again, or I mean, there's no pockets in the sides. Again, with a little bit of the washi, some rhinestones, a mat. And I used some of my stamps. And this one says the most valuable antiques are old friends. And this one says, I'm glad we're friends. And then, of course, I did do a little um, tag pull out on the side here. I did not stamp on it. I just left it blank and the back blank. Another one of my stamps says, best friends forever. You're the best. And a photo mat. And then over here says, best friends. And this says, we'll always be friends. You know all my secrets. With another photo mat and some chipboard stickers from the collection. Um, more stickers. This one says, you know how to brighten my day. With another photo mat. I use the smile stamp. This one says, you are my very greatest earthly blessing from Martha Finley. This one says, hello friend, sticker piece again, with another tag. And then this page says, great friends are hard to find, difficult to leave, and impossible to forget. And then there's just a little tag here that says, you're special. And then on this side says, the girls. And this was actually a sticker in the collection. I just left it blank to journal on and a photo mat. And this says... Uh, friends gather here, wonderful friend, and another photo mat. So I literally used that 99 cent pack on this whole thing, and the only thing I used otherwise, other than the pack, was just solid black cardstock, the white, red, or the white and black ribbon, and some rhinestones. This one I kept a little bit more plain, um, just because some people don't like the frillies. I did create a pocket here. It is different. So this one says friends are kept in the heart, or friends are kept forever in the heart. Created that. I did use some more of those white rhinestones. Another tag I did put, I'm glad we're friends on this tag. No ribbons, though. I just felt like the ribbons were a little bit much for some of them. Some people don't like them. This one says, uh, friends gather here, wonderful friend. Some more cut-aparts and another one of those stamps. Uh, again, pocket and a tag. Pocket and a tag. It says, fabulous. Of course, Lancey's in the way. He wants to show you, you know. Okay, baby. Come on, honey. You get out of here. You know, there he is, making his appearance as usual. This one says, the girls, and I did an upper pocket for this one, and then a lower pocket says, hello, friend, with another tag. And then over here, again, with that one um, sentiment, and a pullout, best friend, and then a tag, and a pullout mat. And again, the last two pages are this, great friends, with another tag. I don't know if I put anything. I did. I put a sticker on that one from before. So, best laugh, you're special, best shopper. And so those were the minis that I made with these little collections. I do think that it's the perfect little collection. I would highly recommend getting that die. Um, I mean, they're just so cute. And even Lancey loves them. See, I'm telling you, he's got to make an appearance somehow with his cute little tail. Uh, so anyway, folks, I just wanted to come and share those with you today. I've been busy. I've also made two birthday ones out of two of the birthday ones, but I've already gifted those. So they're, sorry, guys, for the shaky, shaky, Lancey jumping off my table. <laughs> um, but I didn't have time to show those because I've already gifted those. So um, I will be making quite a bit more of these. I really do like them. And what a great way to use your little mommy sashes, you know, I mean, and I have a couple that were $2.99 or $1.99, I mean, that were, um, you know, the 12 by 12 sets. And I think I can bust out two out of that. So Pretty fun, great stocking stuffers, great gifty ideas. So, all right, folks, thanks for watching today. And uh, I leave in about three hours with my sister up north to Columbia, Bothell, Seattle. We're going to go to Pike Market. We're going to go, um, we're just going to go on a little adventure. So I'm really excited. Uh, we're going to do a McMinimum's passport tour. I'm not sure if you are familiar with that. 
But over here on the West Coast, you get these little fun passports, and we um, get them stamped at all the McMinimums locations. I have some stamped. We've done uh, all kinds of fun, like scavenger hunts and things of that nature. So these are fun. We're going to go. There's a couple locations up, up north that we don't have. So I'm really excited. And we're going to stay at the Anderson School. So how fun is that? A bed and breakfast. Woohoo. I've never stayed at one. So this will be a lot of fun. And um, I will be back next week with some more fun project shares. Thanks for watching, folks, and have a blessed weekend.